everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to split our document using subtype detection. Let's take a look at our documents here. We have a few one-page documents, like this one, and we have a few multi-page documents, like this one. You have two pages, and here one page again, and those, one, those ones have two pages. So we are going to learn how to import all of those documents as one single document inside Chronoscan, and then split everything using subtype detection. First thing we gotta do is to create a new job. Let's click on the new batch button up here, and let's run the job wizard. Let's call it subtype split job and you can name it whatever you like, and click Next. We don't need IntelliTag, but we need Type Detection, and we need OCR. So we leave those two selected and click Next. We have multi-image documents, but we are going to split them manually, and then we click Next. It doesn't matter here, so let's just click Next. Uh, we can also leave that as it is. And let's see, we have several images documents and manual split, so that's perfect. Let's click finish and let's create our first patch. Subtype split patch 1. There we go. And click on create patch. Now, what I'm going to do is to import our documents. Let's just drag and drop them into Chronoscan. And we wait a little bit. Now you can see as we have multi-image documents selected for our job, everything is imported as a single document. What we're going to do now is to go up here on the document types button on the scan input tab and let's click on the type detection, um, activate page level type detection here. We have to make sure that's active. And now we have to process everything. Let's click on here and right click it and select all. Let's click on process selection here and we don't need all of that thing, those things. Let's auto crop, let's de-skill because we have a little document, some documents that are a little not right. Let's do image OCR, we don't need the triggers and we are not going to split them quite yet, but we need type detection and we don't need read fields. So we just have those options selected and then click OK. Now, as Chronoscan reads all of the documents, you will see that a type identification will be added to each of the documents. After Chronoscan finishes, reading all the documents, processing all the documents, you can see here we have the type ID assigned to each document. And if you go to the document type panel down here, and we go on view types, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different document types. Now we, we have to say to tell Chronoscan which ones are first pages and which one are last pages and which documents, which types are single image documents. So let's come here and we only have to do it for the type, for, the, for each type. So we don't have to do it for all the documents, we just have to do it once for every type. We have seven types, so we just have to do it seven times. Let's come here, that's a single image document, we right click here and on edit document type here, we make it single page document type. That one is a first page, so we right click on it and add document type, and that type is first page. On here, it's the last page, so we right click it and edit document type. This is last page, type is last page, and we select it. Now let's just keep doing it until we get to the six here. Type 3, that's a single image, so single page document. Those have two pages, so let's make it first and last. And of course that if you had documents with more than two pages, you would just have to set it to be intermediate page, like you have here. 
uh, intermediate page. So, and you, but the only thing you have to keep in mind is that you would have to scan or import the document sequentially. So Chronoscan will read and then say, okay, that's the first, that's the intermediate page, intermediate pages, and then that's the last page. Let's split here. So keep that in mind while scanning your documents or importing your documents. Those are single image. Let's make it single image. And then type 66 and we are ready to go. Now what we have to do is just make sure we have page level and now on the process selection let's select everything we click on right click and select all and the process selection we simply enable the split document searching known document types here we can just deselect all the other ones to make it faster and then we click ok and you can see now all the documents are being correctly split. Two pages here, two pages here. Yes, everything is correct. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.